Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 65, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Costco and their new Kirkland Signature 10.0 hearing aid release that just happened a few days ago. But before I get into that, I do wanna mention that I had a pretty nasty bike accident about a week ago, a cycling accident. Uh, as some of you know, I am a triathlete, so I do spend a decent amount of time you know, running, cycling, and swimming, and all of that. Um, but last Sunday, I went out for a bike ride. I was traveling north on 40th Street in the bike lane and I was approaching the intersection of Greenway which is a light and that light was red but it had turned green and there were about four vehicles in that right hand lane that none of them had their turn signals on and as I approached the intersection, the last vehicle was actually one of those street legal, like off-road vehicles that you can take up in the sand dunes and all of that. But um, he ended up not, you know, going on the green light right away. He let the other three cars go, and then and then he punched it pretty hard and made a sharp right turn right in front of me and I couldn't avoid him. I basically landed right on top of his rear wheel as he was accelerating and it ripped up my stomach pretty bad. I do have some road rash in different places. Uh, obviously, I'm alive, which I'm happy about, and I don't have any broken bones. I did think that my left wrist was broken, but when I went in for x-rays, that showed negative. So it turns out it's just a really bad sprain. Um, but I basically totaled my bicycle, so anytime that you crash a carbon frame, uh, and, and this one, it, it was a pretty distinct crack in the carbon frame in the top tube. But it, uh, basically, I don't have a bicycle right now. Not that if I even did have one that I could ride it because my wrist is in such bad condition right now. Um, but I'm just thankful that I am alive. I'm thankful that I did not have any more serious injuries. I am in the process of getting a new bicycle, but I probably won't have it here for another week or two. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna take my time to heal. I did go for a run today, which was my first any amount of physical exertion since the accident last Sunday, which is about six days ago now. Um, it's actually pretty uncomfortable me wearing a shirt right now because as like the scabs are like kind of there and it's just uncomfortable to wear a shirt but I didn't want to do this uh, video shirtless so you're welcome. Nonetheless, um, pretty rough week at work, very uncomfortable, you know, going into work, you know, not feeling the greatest, but managed to get through, uh, feel like I still was effective at work, which is good news. Um, but that kind of leads me over the course of the week. We actually had a release from Costco or announcement from Costco that they now have available the Kirkland Signature 10.0 hearing aid. So I actually went on to Facebook to not, not make the announcement because the announcement was already there, but what a lot of individuals don't realize is that if there's a new release while you're still in your trial period with your hearing aids and, and every uh, Costco mandates that there's at least a 90 day trial period that you get with their devices and if for whatever reason you wanna return those devices, you can. And if you want to exchange those devices for some other hearing aids and potentially newer hearing aids, you can go ahead and do that. So I went on to a public hearing aid forum on Facebook and uh, I basically said, public service announcement, if you've purchased Costco Kirkland Signature 9.0 hearing aids in the past 90 days, make sure you return them and upgrade to the Signature 10.0s that were released today. And so, you know, the way I see it is that if, if a patient has the ability to get newer and better technology than what they're currently in, then by all means, they should have the right to go in and do an exchange that it, they are allowed under the rules and regulations, particularly in this case of Costco, they are entitled to be able to return their devices. Um, but there was a hearing instrument specialist who worked at Costco who apparently did not agree with me. And now what I'm about to do here is I'm about to share a post on a private forum here publicly. And this is considered in bad taste in my profession, but in this particular circumstance, I think that this is very important for you as an individual who has hearing loss and who potentially goes to Costco, you need to understand what's actually happening here um, and, and what Costco is basically telling their their associates that are working with you. And so I'm not gonna share the name of this individual, but I am gonna share this post at the risk of me being kicked out of this group. And it says, hey Clifford Olson, did you seriously tell people to return their Kirkland 9.0 hearing aids and purchase Kirkland 10.0 hearing aids for $100 cheaper? As a Costco employee, I would be fired 
for suggesting such a thing. I'm just curious what gives you the right. And the other thing that he said here is that one of our core tenants at Costco is to respect our vendors. Returning hearing aids to be destroyed for credit is not respecting Phonak in my opinion. And to be fair, um, it's actually Sonova. Now Sonova owns Phonak, but it's not Phonak specifically that is manufacturing these private label Kirkland Signature 10.0 or 9.0 hearing aids. But the, the individual who posted this, there, there's a couple huge red flags here when it comes to Costco. First of all, if Costco would actually fire one of their associates for allowing or telling one of their patients to, to come and exchange to get a newer device that's better than the previous one they were fit in, even though they were within the trial period, that to me is like, holy crap, like huge red flag against Costco here. Um, and, and, and it just, it blows my mind because that is so far away from what's in the best interest of a patient that I can't, I can't truly believe that Costco would tell that to their associates. I mean, they're, I don't know that I'm just, I'm so blown away by this that, that I'm, I'm just, I, I can't even believe it. But that being said, um, I think that this individual was expecting to get much more support inside of the professional world. Uh, this particular group has hearing instrument specialists in it and it has audiologists in it. And I think that he was expecting to see a lot of support in, in favor of, of him and in Costco of not allowing that type of thing to happen. And what we saw was absolutely the opposite and, and mainly from private practice owners. So private practice owners, a lot of them do what is in the absolute best interest of their patients, right? They, they don't feel like they are obligated to the manufacturers in most cases. They wanna do what's best for you. At least all the ones who came to my defense and to the defense of the consumer uh, that's out there who has hearing loss. And I, I, think, I just think that this guy thought he was gonna, it was gonna go the other way around. Now, the, the thing that is, that is really crazy is that to think that making sure that, well, how did he word it here? One of the core tenants is to respect our vendors and returning hearing aids basically to Phonak is something that's considered not respecting their vendors. And I would say that as a hearing care professional, I think that it is your duty to do what's in the best interest of your patient, not what's in the best interest of the company that you work for, not what's in the best interest of the vendor that you buy hearing devices from and then turn around and sell to patients. And it really is um, kind of disturbing to me to think that that is potentially what Costco's goal is. Now, here's the thing. Costco, I think what they, they serve an important purpose for individuals who cannot afford hearing treatment from a private clinic to, uh, it gives some people an option of treating their hearing loss. And then there's some fantastic hearing instrument specialists and audiologists that work at Costco. Which Costco's? I'm not quite sure, but they're out there. They're somewhere out there. Um, I, I fix so many egregiously poorly programmed hearing aids inside of my clinic that have come out of Costco. So I'm very familiar with the Kirkland Signature brand at this point, even though it kind of hops from different manufacturers back and forth uh, here and there. But to think that the, that Costco would fire one of their employees for recommending getting a, to get a new hearing aid that's better than the previous version that they had, it seems absurd to me. And, and I feel like that is the exact opposite of being a fiduciary for your patients, meaning that doing what's in their best interest, not what is in your best interest. And here's the other thing. I mean, when, when a patient is in a trial period with me and there's a new product that comes out, I'm the one who tells the patient like, hey, listen, there's a new product out. You know, you're still within your return window. I think we should return your hearing aids and get the newer ones because they will be better devices. And yeah, I spent hours already with these patients fitting the, the previous version of devices. And I'm actually telling them, yeah, let's return them. And then I spend another several hours with that patient to make sure that they get the most out of those new hearing devices as humanly possible. And this individual here is, is basically coming out and saying that, that that's, that's, you shouldn't do that. That's, that's wrong. That's, that's making the, the patient, that's putting the patient in front of the vendor that we buy products from. And I couldn't even do that if I wanted to because Costco would fire me if they found out that I was doing that. That to me, I mean, 
That is like the biggest red flag I've ever seen anyone outwardly come out and say. And this is why I'm risking my, essentially my uh, membership inside of this private group is that that is such an egregious violation of what we should be doing for patients that I feel like I needed to air that out. And, and if that means that I'm kicked out of that group, then it absolutely was well worth it for you to be aware of what's going on over there at Costco. Because if they would truly fire one of their employees for basically helping a patient hear better with better technology, then what else are they telling their employees to do? I mean, there, we really have no idea. This is just one tiny little glimpse into the world of Costco and how they function. Now, maybe this person just went rogue. Maybe they're just, they're saying that because they're pissed off that, oh great, now that Cliff Olson is telling all of these Costco patients to come in and return their hearing aids, I'm gonna have a ton of work to do now to refit every single one of them. And you know what? Yeah, and you should, because your job is to serve your patients. Your job is not to make the vendors happy, your job is not to make your employer happy. Your job is to make your patients happy. Now, I know I'm not going to be a popular guy for basically taking this post inside of a private forum and making it public, but like I said already, um, I feel like this is my responsibility. Everything that I do on my channel and everything that I share with all of you is to keep you better informed so you basically don't get taken advantage of because this is a clear cut example of how a bad actor inside of our profession is, is, is basically taking advantage of you. That being said, you really need to think about where you're going to get your hearing treatment. Now, if you can't afford to come to me in my clinic, if you can't afford to go to another private practice, that, that's fine. There are other options out there for you. And I truly believe that Costco is a good option for a lot of people, but not for everybody. And if you wanna make sure that you are hearing your absolute best, if you wanna make sure that the person that you're working with is doing things in your best interest, you had better darn well make sure that you're selecting the right place to go. And if you feel like that best place is Costco, then great, more power to you. But this has to make you think twice. Okay, that's it. That is all I'm going to say about this. You are informed now, you make your own decisions, and, and I wish you the absolute best. That being said, take care, and I'll see you next week. Oh,